On the screen, you can see here, most of the times you are facing a lot with the outdated footer credit. You can see here, it shows 2021. I am expecting this to be 2022 or the most important as the year of uh, as the year in the calendar change i'm expecting this numbers to be in an incremental order so if you would like to set up or change or wanted to set up a permanent footer credit how you can do that if you have a wordpress blog that's where i'm going to help you my name is kirtish vyas from blogging was and supremecampus.com on this channel we do offer premium learning around how you can grow online building your online digital assets so if you are first time viewers to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel and ensure to watch other videos which are going to benefit you in your online journey. Without wasting time, let's go to the screen and discuss about this once again. First of all, you must have to understand the structure of a WordPress blog. In the WordPress, you might have seen this is what we call a header or I must say it's kind of a menu. So the customization for this menu will be a different place. But if you will scroll down and come at the bottom, you will find here another, uh, uh, I must say, row which contain a lot of elements and this is called as a footer. So if you would like to make any changes with this, the number one step is you have to log into your WordPress blog. OK, you have to log into your WordPress admin dashboard, then come across and go to appearance, then go to the option called customize what it is you are going to customize the theme whatever you have used no matter what sort of a theme you have currently installed as i can see here for me it's a generate press theme so if you would like to have this theme then i will provide a link down below which is easy to customize and one of the lightest theme in the wordpress library so you can go with that but in this case you just have to go to the customize option whatever the themes you are currently using then on the left hand side you will be having all the different options in addition on the right hand side you should be able to see the live preview of your existing website and the changes you are going to make so first of all if you will scroll down you can see all the options you have added there is a sign in the form of a pencil you can directly click it otherwise what you can do is on the left hand side you can go to the section called layout and then at the bottom you will find it an option called footer so simply click to the footer this is going to point all the settings which is going to make a changes with this one so that's the one way you can go through the menu options or the another way is simply click to this pencil icon it will again route you to the same position okay got it simple and clear now to change this footer credit if you will scroll down this is the text which is going to be display here so how to make a changes with this let's say i don't want anything which is a custom text what i want it should take those numbers automatically so what exactly you wanted to write here there is a two numbers which is what you can see it will update automatically on day to day or year to year wise so we are going to use this so first of all i wanted to say like this copyright okay then after i wanted to have a copyright sign or an icon which can be possible simply pasting this code out here right then after you can add here an year whatever the current year it will take automatically and then after you can put your brand name whatever it is let's say in my case it's mrvs idea the moment when you will provide this entry go back and click to the publish as you have done this you can scroll it down at the bottom and you can see it has taken this automatically once you have done these changes go to the publish then again close that browser and then open this in a new window and just refresh it if it's been updated that means the changes you have made is automatically applied now if you will check in the next year if it's 2023 2024 2025 it will take that number automatically so you don't have to make any changes manually hopefully you love this very uh crisp and to the point uh, content and i'm going to create a lot and lot and if you would like to grow online building your digital asset this is the channel which is going to help you step by step thank you very much for watching this one see you in the next video